hello everyone welcome to my channel beautiful toy reviews in this video today i'll be sharing with you a custom made doll made by my friend morgan may of stardust dolls this one i commissioned her to do elizabeth swan from the pirates of the caribbean the curse of the black pearl the first film of the franchise i had her make three outfits plus some other accessories to go along with it so Let's go and start off with the famous and very well-known red dress she wears on her adventures. I am just in love with this. Her face is so close. It's been repainted into the likeness of actress Kira Knightley. Just beautiful, soft, flowing hair. Mirror necklace. Puffy sleeves. These were all made by Morgan. She is so talented. The fabric choices, it's all just got this beautiful quality to it. And the shoes too. The buckle shoes of the era. She's very poseable. It's like a burgundy red color. Just absolutely gorgeous. And then the medallion is simply held together with this hook. The outer part simply comes off. Which reveals the underdress. And you see this part when she's forced to walk the plank and when she's stranded on that island with Captain Jack Sparrow. I love posable dolls. You can just put them in so many different positions. And if you like to take pictures, Put them in different poses, little setups, scenes. Here she is wearing her lovely nightgown and night robe, along with the medallion. The look that she's wearing when her pirate adventure begins. The pattern is very close to what she wears in the film. For the night robe I'm referring to. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is when she's pretending that she's going to drop this necklace into the ocean. She just lets it slip right through her fingers just enough. So funny.
This fabric is so lightweight. It's very nice. Just the way it flows. Just beautiful. Or look how it hangs at the bottom. Finally, we have the gold dress. I love this gown. It's so beautiful. It's all part of that sophistication. After all, she is the governor's daughter. It's so beautiful. Let's not talk about the fact that the corset was really tight and she was uncomfortable wearing it. <laughs> That's more about the corset, not the dress. Here are the two accessories that I asked Morgan to in include. So we have the fan here. Very nice metal gold fan. And it does fold up, which is really neat. So you can carry it around. And her hat. And with this tool, it holds very well just by a simple loop right there. No knots needed. You can tell there's just so much attention to the detail. A lot of love and attention goes into every single one of the Stardust Dolls creations. We have her beautiful jewelry. I'm very movie accurate, so if a character is wearing necklaces, earrings, I want it included along with the, the dress. Don't want to leave out anything. I put quake wax, which is like a sticky wax material used to hold down objects in case of an earthquake, but you can also put very small amounts of uh, sticky putty. That will work too. That way you can simply remove it and reattach it. No holes needed. This is just my little invention. And it holds pretty well. If you need a little more, just add some. One thing about Quake Wax though, it's clear, so you can't really see it too well. And it holds pretty well. The back of the necklace has the same easy hook on. Just lovely. Now the dress. We have the details of flowers right here in the middle. The choice of fabric is just perfect. And of course the shoes. Love the shoes. The back of the yellow dress is just a little bit longer than the burgundy one. Gives it that very graceful look. Now the accessories that I included are 
a lantern. I got these items from a craft store. Isn't this just a fun idea? It is so Elizabeth Swan. You can just imagine her putting this in her hand, just going out at night to the harbor, looking out for pirate ships. And this leather embossed journal. It was considered a charm. It had this gold ring in it, and I just removed it. She could be out reading inside, outside. This, I just found this. It's just rolled up pieces of paper. You, this could be anything. You can make it into like a treasure map, a map to some unknown regions, anything you want it to be. So I thought that was just a fun little thing. It's like, hey, I can make use of this. Under the black light. She looks like she just stepped into the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland. Only Captain Sparrow shows up in that ride, though. I like how any of the dark rides, if you're wearing white, it just glows. In this kind of light it's it's great I love those effects I've always loved them even when I was a kid look at that the lantern looks like it's glowing thank you everyone for watching I hope you enjoyed this video of this beautiful Elizabeth Swan custom doll if you want to see more of Morgan's work I'll share her Instagram and website in the video description down below as well as my social media and patreon page if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do so hit that like button share out the video comment down below let me know what you think I'd love to hear it and as I say it's a pirate's life for me